Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Now that we've examined how to create tables, we now need to look at how we can make selections of these new table elements. In addition to being able to select the entire table, you can also select the separate table elements, such as the cells, columns, and rows. Just as with text, once you've selected an element, you can then make changes that are applied only to the selected element. First, we'll examine how to select table objects with your mouse. To select a cell, put your mouse pointer into the lower left corner of the cell. When your mouse pointer is in the correct position, it will appear to turn into a diagonally pointing black arrow. When it does this, you can click the mouse button to select the cell. You can also click and drag to select multiple adjacent cells. You select rows by placing your mouse pointer just outside of the left edge of the row that you wish to select, and then clicking the mouse button. You can also click and drag to select multiple adjacent rows. Selecting a column is the same, except that you place your mouse pointer above the top of the column until it turns into a small black downward pointing arrow. Click when you see it change to that icon in order to select the column. You can click and drag to select multiple adjacent columns. You can select the entire table by placing your mouse pointer over the table until you see a four-pointed icon appear above and to the left of the table. Roll your mouse pointer up and over to that icon and then click the icon in order to select the entire table. You may also use the commands in the table group that appear on the Layout tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon to select the same table elements. To select a table item using this method, you just have to first click into the cell, row, column, or table that you wish to select. Then click the Select button in the Table group on the Layout tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. From the drop-down menu that appears, you can choose the appropriate command in order to select the desired object. Select cell, select column, select row, or select table. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.